Hello, what is going on? Welcome back to Jake's Journey, mate, guys. It is an absolute pleasure to have you here. And today, I'm going to be walking you through how, when I go away on trips, away from the van and stuff like that, how I keep the van safe. I've got a list of three things that you can buy for under £150 in order to make your van extremely hard to steal. But also, I've got an extra two bonus ones that you can add on. And not only does it keep the van safe, but it also keeps your internal belongings safe when you're off and you're bouncing about out of the vehicle, out of the van. As we all know, van life is becoming more and more popular as we go on. So people are living in the vehicles now a lot more. And I just wanted to give you guys the tips that I use when I want to get out of my van and I want to go and maybe hiking, biking or getting out. Or I've just generally got to leave the van for a certain amount of time. Now, she's a big unit and she looks pretty sexy sexy so she's a bit of a theft magnet now i'm also going to tell you about a recent little exposure that we had to thieves uh, when there was a break-in attempt a couple of weeks ago but i'm going to get through the bulk of this first and tell you guys all about the gear that i'm using to keep the van safe and protected let's get to it shall we now the first thing that i want to get into is this and if you haven't seen one of these before, this is a pedal lock box. This massive steel lump padlocks over your clutch and brake. So I looked for one of these for a while because I was like, right, I need to get that because if they can't drive, if they can't put the brakes on, if they can't get the clutch in to get it from gear to gear, they're not going very far at all. And actually, I've reached out to these people which are locked down secure. And I'll leave the link down below because I was actually lucky enough to have the guys down at Lockdown Secure, hook me up with this one. These retail for £104.95, I believe it is, but depending on your vehicle, mate, they can range anywhere from 50 to about £110. But they've got them for Ford Transits, uh, Fiat Ducatos, Peugeot Boxers like this. My brother Beluga's also got one on his Sprinter. So there is different options that you can get with these where you can have big padlocks on the outside or ones like this where it's a big clump of metal that no one's getting into with a slide disc. But basically how these work is you get two keys with it, you slot your key into there, that slides out and you take it off the padlock. And then you can see, as I open this, you've then got the two slots, one for your brake and one for your clutch. And basically there's a bar that goes all the way through this and it's locked from the outside. So even if someone wants to come in with a grinder and go through the welds upon this hinge, they're still not gonna get in because it's still bolted through with this solid bar. And all that does is just, that, yeah, mate, they're not getting in at all. In your Peugeot boxers, your Fiat Ducatos, you've got this centre console and your drinks canisters here, which makes life pretty easy actually, because all I do is just slot the lock box under there when I'm not using it. Then when it comes to taking it out, I pull it out like that and bring it over. Then for fitting it, it's as easy as opening the lid, sliding it underneath the two pedals and then down on itself. That's then them locked in place. All you do then is add your padlock on top to make it secure. And that ain't going nowhere. If I'm honest with you, I was always really worried about leaving the van until I got this on, but now I've got it on, I feel pretty trusty in leaving it in most places. As you can see, it clamps them all in place and looks pretty good as well. Best thing about it being bright orange as well is any nosy buggers are gonna see it through the window and know that you're not messing around when it comes to your protection. They are designed, made, cut to size, welded together, sprayed, everything is done in the UK by some local lads in the black country, close to me, a small three, four man team. So it's great to get down there and see all the parts and different sizes of metal that they've got going on in the background and uh, how they put them together and stuff. So yeah, check them out. I'll leave the link down below and you can check out their website. And um, yeah, just safety first, man. Belts and britches with this stuff. You don't want your van going missing, man. Right, moving on to the next one. Now, this is probably one that many of you will have seen before, but they're a very good deterrent because as soon as people drive past your house, where you've got it parked on your drive or wherever it is, or you're out, it's in like the parking lot, the grocery store or something, well, straight away, you've got it there and you can put it on. It's very easy to put on. And that's one of these bad boys. And all it does is have a clamp in that you just put over your steering wheel like so, and then it just locks in. And there's a key with it like that. And all that does is sit on there and it just stops them. If they break your steering lock off, stops them being able to steer. So on the lock box down below, we've inhibited them from braking and changing gear. Now we've added this, we've also stopped them from steering. So pretty much the drivability of the van has gone out the window. So if they can't drive the van and get away with it, yes, I know that, Jake, they might not be able to get away, but they still can get inside. They're always going to be able to get inside. This place is full of windows. You know, the stealth options that you can do where you have no windows 
you keep your bulkhead in and you're not going to have any dramas that way. They're still going to pop the doors. So there's no way we can really stop them from getting in, but we can make it much harder for them. Now, one of the main don't come in my side door or rear doors things that I've got going on with this fan is slam locks. Now, slam locks straight away, people do not really like them sometimes because as soon as I slam this door, I can no longer get in. Usually with vehicles, with vans as well like this, when you unlock the vehicle on the remote lock-in, which we have here, that's now locked, can't get in. Unlocked, usually I would be able to get in, like this. But, slam locks basically manually override the electronics inside there, so in order to actually get in, you need a key. But I suppose that makes it like a house, because all I then do is put my key in there, Turn it to the right and I'm in and that opens the door instead of using the handle. Now this is great because people tend to worry when they're sat at traffic lights and stuff like that or they're just chilling at the back. I've, <laughs> I've heard absolute horror stories especially with work vans that they haven't had slam locks, they haven't had the van locked up while they're at traffic lights and someone's jumped in the back, nicked their stuff and ran straight off. Now obviously this could be a blessing or a nightmare. You forget your key then you're going to have dramas. You lose that and generally the rule of thumb is that you're but it's like your front door key on the doors that slam as soon as you go out of them. Slam that door, you know that your vehicle's safe. Jake, what about your drivers and passenger doors? Well, I don't have slam locks on those. I mean, I do, they're in place and they're fitted, but I decided that instead of having them turned on, I wanted them turned off because every time you want to get in and out of the van by the passenger and driver's door, I did not want to be having to mess about with putting the key in. So, this brings me on to number five, the old ball and chain. And I don't mean Becky, my girlfriend. I mean this fucking hell. This old bit of wire that we can chuck around the pillars of the doors. Let me show you how I do that now. Now, this might seem like overkill, borderline ridiculous, but I want to know that when I'm going off on a hike, when I'm going off on a bike ride, when I'm going off for the day or wherever, I want to know that my house is secure. So, not necessarily with all vans, but there might still be a certain hole that you can feed it through. But with Peugeot Boxers, Ducatos, Relays, and the new shape Vauxhall Movanos, you do have these pillars on the doors, which are very sturdy, very strong, and I can wrap this through. Now, if I put that through once, I'm in a good place. I can then bring it through and throw it all the way to the other side. This is a bit more of a mess about having to sort it out, but I only do this for if I'm away from the van for a longer time. Once I've fed it through both handles on both driver and passenger door, I loop it on the underside of the seat to the steel base to make it nice and taut so the doors can't be opened from the outside. There's now a 15 mil steel wire running from post to post on either side of the door, and then it locks back into here with a big alloy padlock down into the steel base of the seat. So now with deadlocks on the side and rear doors, even if they can get the central locking undone so you can get into the front doors, they haven't got any chance. That's as far as the door will now open because of the steel in there. Pull that, pull my weight into it, and that door will not open because of the steel cable that runs from door to door. Unless these absolute bandits want to start breaking windows and drawing attention to themselves, they're not getting into this vehicle. I can't stress enough how important it is to make sure that your van is secure. At the end of the day, there are homes, there are places to be comfy, there are places to feel safe. The last thing you want is someone messing around with your gear, coming in, trying to steal your van. It's not a vibe, man. You want to feel comfortable on the road as much as you can. It's obviously very important to look after your personal effects as well that you've got inside the van. So somewhere in the van, I have got a safe. It's important to have a safe and you can pick those up for about 50 to 60 pounds and it's definitely worth having one and bolt in either into the subframe of the van or the integral metal beams that run down the sides and the roof of the van. Make sure you've got somewhere to lock your gear up because if they get in, you want your passport and all that sort of good stuff safe. Right, if you've watched this far, then thank you very much. And I just want to say hello to all the usual subscribers that watch and how we doing lads and ladies, are you all right? Sorry if I've been very robotic with this video. I just want to get the message across that it is important uh, that you need to look, look after your shit, man. So, sweet. I hope you're all well and I hope you're doing fine. Um, update with regards to the breaking attempt. So, uh, about three weeks ago, I was sleeping on my dad's drive, uh, mine and Beluga's van parked next to each other. 
I was slept in bow, no hassle whatsoever. I felt absolutely fine, felt safe. I was like, I'm on my dad's drive, it's all good to go. Beluga was actually sleeping in the house uh, and his van was unattended, but literally two feet from my van. And when we came to it the next morning, um, Beluga woke up, went to go to the shops, where it was, and went to punch out. Uh, his van had actually been tampered with. The seals around the front windows on his vehicle had been tampered with. They tried to pull the seals off so they could remove the window and try and get in there pretty sneaky, as well as messing with his lock. There was obvious signs on the key entry for his driver's door that someone had tried to get a screwdriver in there. They prized it out slightly and uh, it caused a few dramas. So it wasn't specifically Bo that the breaking attempt happened to, but it was within two feet of Bo on the same drive. So if Beluga's van hadn't been there at the time, then it would have been that they'd have gone for this one. I mean, they'd have had a shock because they've had a bloke with his tackle out in the middle of the night, ready with his five litre bottle of water going, mate, have it. Um, but no, you know, you've got to be so aware. And it, it, that was a bit of a call to action for both of us, really. We were like, damn, like people want to take our shit. So, yeah, that wasn't nice. And especially off, off you know, your parents' drive, I was like... Come on, man. I'm just back to visit. Someone's trying to steal one of our vans. That ain't on. Um, do better, people out there. And um, we've just, that's, that's our point, man. We've just got to make sure that we try our best and our utmost to stop scumbags of the world trying to steal our hard earned money, what we've put it into. So, yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure. And um, look after yourselves, look after your vehicles. And I'll leave links down below, especially to Lockdown Secure. I really respect what Mark was saying, the guy that runs the place, the owner, and uh, he's a top legit guy. So I'll leave that down below. I'll also leave down the Amazon links to the cable that I use in the front, as well as the steering wheel lock. If you have watched this far and you're not already a subscriber, please consider clicking that subscribe button and smashing the bell notification. This is Bo, my extra long wheelbase Peugeot Boxer that I've been living in over the last year since I left the British Army. I'm currently bouncing around and doing adventures all over the UK and further into Europe later this year. So if you want to watch the journey and you want to check it out, this is Jake's journey, mate. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Smash that bell notification. I will see you next week.